looking up at the sky. So many stars. So many mysteries. And there's one very special star that makes me think of one very special person. Now let me tell you my story. At the dawn of time, from the chaos, came an exception. One of the most mysterious secrets of the universe. You see, I come from that very mysterious and unique place. We are the only known solar system with double gravity. Two twin planets whirling together around one sun, but each with its own and opposite gravity. Now in our world, it's possible to fall up and to rise down. But my story, it's about love. Some people say the true lovers a one soul that is separated when it's born. And those two halves will always yearn to find their way back together. Well, to understand my story, you're gonna need to know the three basic laws of double gravity. All matter, every single object is pulled by the gravity of the world that it comes from and not the other. An object's weight can be offset using matter from the opposite world, inverse matter. But the problem is, after a few hours of contact, matter in contact with inverse matter burns. Now, these laws are as old as the universe itself. They're unchangeable, and there are no exceptions. Gravity. They say you can't fight it. Well, I disagree. What if love was stronger than gravity? Now let's go back to the dark times, when any contact between worlds was extremely dangerous and totally forbidden. Up top had grown rich and prosperous, while here, down below, we stole inverse metal from up top to heat our homes and to survive, risking everything, even our own lives. I think he's dead. contact between worlds was through Transworld, a giant corporation up top, created to take cheap oil from down below and to sell back to us overpriced electricity that we couldn't afford. Because of Transworld, I grew up in an orphanage. You see, my parents died in the big blast. A trans-world oil refinery explosion that destroyed much of the city. Fortunately, there were the weekends. They let me visit my great Aunt Becky, my only surviving relative. Becky, there were two things that I truly loved. Model airplanes and Becky's flying pancakes. Going to have to get me some more pink pollen tomorrow. Okay, sweetie? Becky also initiated me into an ancient knowledge, passed down over the generations through the women of her family. Now catch. The secret of the pink bees. How do they do that? <laughs> it's 
it all in this book. It was passed down to my mother from hers. And of course, I would have given it to your mother. One day when you grow up, it'll be yours. Becky would often send me to gather pink pollen from the sage mountains. This was the only place, and a forbidden place, where pink bees could be found. Bees that fed off flowers from both worlds, and without whom, this story could never have happened. But I had a little secret of my own. I used to go chase inverse rain from up top. One day, I went much further than usual, climbing higher and higher above the cloud line. And that day, well, that day changed my life forever. Okay. Hey, look, I'll throw it up. All right, ready? All right, Adam.
Yo, these ones from up top are so good. They're the best. No, they are. They're amazing. <laughs> oh, wait. I got something for you, too. And this is from both worlds. What is it? I can't tell you that. You gotta close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> Come on. My closed, closed. They're closed. All right. Are they closed? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, open your mouth. <laughs> I can't reach. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. How is that from both worlds? I don't know. You should probably ask the bees. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Imagine if we could go anywhere we wanted to. I mean, really. Yeah, can you imagine that? Hey, you know what? What? Well, we can. Come on, let's imagine we can. Let's go down.
Hello, Albert. This is Nathanson. What do you got for me? Inverse matter to pay my debt. Will this cover it? <laughs> my husband says it's stainless steel from the main pipeline. Pablo, it's ready. Okay, don't start it till it's fully applied, okay? Oh, that stuff is amazing. <laughs> is it for sale? Well, not quite yet. No. We're all settled on. Thank you. And uh, can you keep me posted on that beauty cream? Will do. You take care now. You hear that, Adam? We have got to finish this cream. Well, I would love to, Albert, you know, but you know, with this equipment, you know, it could take years. The chance to fulfill everyone's dream and transform his life working for Trans World. We're live down below with our nine finalists feverishly awaiting the results. <laughs> I'd like to welcome Miss Eden Moore of Trans Publicity, a division of Trans World. Hi, how are you? Welcome. <laughs> Now, she'll tell us more about what she does. But more importantly, let's hear about our winner's new job. Well, our division handles all of Trans World's graphic design needs. Right now, I'm working with Oregon. Uh, that sounds fascinating, but our audience is dying to know. Just what job will our winner be getting? Well, today we're offering the winner a job in our department. Uh, uh, here we go! <laughs> let's choose our lucky <laughs> Her. Pablo, that, that's Eden. Are you sure? I'm totally sure. I'm, she, she's alive. I can't believe it. I can find her. She works at Transworld.
Some help? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking for a station 15, sector 8. Third aisle down. Thank you. director is waiting to see you. Right, sh sure. Oh, okay. Right. Psst, hey, hey. You're back. You're back, check it out. Oh. Right, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty funny. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Mr. Yeah. Kirk, we don't have much time. Come see me on your way out with a list of materials you'll require for your work. I need you to complete your security clearance form. I'll also give you your various access badges and meal vouchers. Come in, Mr. Kirk. Come in, come in. This anti-aging cream idea of yours seems to be quite promising. Your application has been approved. But this is strictly on a trial basis, you understand? Of course. Have a seat, please. Thanks. Fasten your seat belt, Mr. Kirk. I'm sorry? Your seat belt? Seat belt. Oh, right. Are there any questions, Mr. Kirk? Yeah, I was just wondering what all these uh, people on my side do. They're merely adapters. They adapt our products to your world. You, on the other hand, have a real opportunity here. Company policy doesn't normally allow for someone from down below to hold such an important position, but we're making an exception in your case. Sign here, please. Now then, a word of warning. We scrupulously observe a full separation between worlds here. That means there's to be no unnecessary contact with those up top. Just stick to your job and all will be well. One last thing. 
The rules are quite strict here. As you know, you'll be working with upper world materials. This means that you'll be thoroughly searched and weighed every time that you leave the premises. If they find any inverse matter on you, you'll be fired and jailed on the spot. But I have a feeling that this won't happen in your case. Will it, Mr. Kirk? Uh, no, sir. Try not to prove me wrong. Right then. Dismissed. Another massive boiling has developed following a battle robbery from the main pipeline, forcing Transworld to double their security. The three thieves from down below arrested last week were hanged this morning at the dawn, raising interworld tensions. Here's a senior Transworld executive with a statement. They got what they deserve. We don't go down to their world. We certainly don't want them coming up to hey. That was Mr. Lagavulin, nice director right of 40. And that's tonight's news on TTW7. Thank you for watching us. Captain, you did not have to do this. I could have gotten you that patent, Transworld. Transworld is the worst thing that ever happened to us. And what, now you're, you're one of them? Oh, come on, Albert. Those people are vultures. And you're going to give them your golden goose for peanuts? I mean, we have nothing. Yeah, we're, we're from down below. I mean, that's just the way it is. I mean, we have nothing. Don't you tell me I'm nothing. This is not nothing, this is everything. And I gave you everything. Treated you like you were my own son. And you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna go out there and you're gonna get yourself killed. That's all you're gonna do, get yourself killed. What? Albert, come on. Look, I didn't mean it like that. Albert, please, come on. All right. All right, don't you dare think that I've forgotten the trans world took away my entire family. All right? Look, if I could use trans world and, and Aunt Becky's pink powder just to... I don't know, just give my life some kind of hope. But then I'm gonna do it. Come on, Albert, please. Come on, I, I need your help, Albert, please. Come on. sure if they're real or if I'm making them up. <laughs> it's frustrating. You know, I, I know that whatever's missing, it's in there. Uh, but it scares me. Um, mostly, it just feels like something's missing. Mr. Kirk? Yes. Here's the key to your personal refrigeration system. Here's your very first allocation of inverse matter. Okay, great. Be careful, without cooling, it gets hot very fast. Thank you. Hey, not exactly a charmer, is he? Oh, oh my God. What's time? I usually go to the smoking room after I eat. Why don't you drop by and have a little conversation? Okay, sure. Oh. Hey, hey, Bob? Hmm? You, you mind if I come in? Hmm. Come in, come in, sit down. Hey, want a cigar? No. Smoke? No, 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 thanks. I don't smoke. 
Okay, fine. Nah. See? Empty. No one smokes in trans world anymore. Yeah, well, I do so. <laughs> You know, people have a funny way of seeing things here. Anything or anyone different is, well, let's say, frowned upon. Can I ask you a favor? Yeah? Yeah, sure. Can you get me some stamps? known stamp collections up top and if you can get me some from your side oh boy right yeah I mean, I, sure i guess great great so you're saying andy gravity yeah you know i've well, i've been working on this uh well, it's, it's an anti-aging cream mm -hmm. Oh, well, I'm here if you need me. Expert in conductivity and computer programming. Anything you need, anything, just ask. <laughs> well, then, uh, I, I guess that could be something you could help me with. Uh, I was wondering if you might be able to get me in touch with an employee. Up top. Up top? Yeah. Her name's, uh... Eden Moore. Sure. Sure. What's your plan? I don't know yet. I'm working on that. I mean, but you've seen her though, right? No, I mean, I haven't actually seen her, but, but she's there. Uh, but, I mean, she's just like a few floors above. Are you sure this is worth it? I mean, it's been like, Ten years since you last saw her. Yeah, it's worth it. It's like a normal button-down shirt. Yeah, you want a jacket? Yeah, like a, I don't know, suit jacket.
You may proceed, Mr. Kirk. Thank you. Now, this should be happening any moment now. If you watch carefully, here it comes. How long does the effect last? Well, right now, really only like a few minutes, but uh, but we've been working Clearly on Clearly not long enough. Soon we'll begin clinical trials on human subjects. Obviously, we'll start with a sample of women from down below. I need quick results. I'm counting on you. Oh. Is that beauty cream for Halloween? <laughs> no, they got different standards of beauty down below. The uh, <laughs> uglier, the better. <laughs> Hey, don't let those guys get to you. They're just jealous, that's all. You staying late? Yeah, you know, I thought I'd stay and just finish up a few things, you know. All right, okay. Well, I'll take you back to the camera. Come on, girl. Hey, you, uh, you realize you don't pay overtime, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, right. See you tomorrow. Don't work too hard. I won't. gone home for the night. Yeah, you can come by tomorrow. Okay, what's your name again? Bo Ro Chovich. Thank you. Okay, see you tomorrow. Believe me, Adam, it's gonna burn. And a pinch, just use a little water to cool down. Please remember, you won't last an hour with these counterweights yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. All right, Pablo, what? What is it? All right, what's your plan? Huh? You dress up in disguise, you show up to meet her, and then what? Then what? I, I don't know. Yeah. No, I don't know. All right, let me get this straight, OK? She sees you, all right? She throws herself in your arms, says she loves you, and, and she never forgot about you. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay, then, since you're starting to burn up, you tell her you love her too, but you really have to go. And if you don't get caught or shot, maybe you'll see her again in 10 years. Besides, what, you, you really think she, uh, she just waited for you? Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah, actually, I do. Adam, we're from down below. Okay, don't you get that? Besides, you know what? I bet she calls the cops the second she sees you. Come on, she's not gonna call the cops. Adam, you're so delusional. Why, why are you so obsessed with those people anyway, huh? You know, my brother was the same way. Yeah, he went up there and... Well, he never came back. You wanna end up like him?
Eden. Eden, it's 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 me. Oh yes, Mr. Porschewitz, right? I'll be with you in a second. Where? Come on, Eden. Hi, I'm Paula. We spoke on the phone yesterday. I didn't realize you guys knew each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We. No, we do. I mean, I, I can't believe she would just ignore me like that. No. No, she just forgets things. What do you mean? It's her amnesia. Wait, she, she has amnesia? Yes. Since her accident. Will you cut these two? Yeah. You want to see me? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I did. Uh, but look, Eden, you know, I, I thought that... I, I thought that, uh, that, uh, that this product that I've been working on, I, I thought it might be of some interest to you, professionally speaking. Yeah, uh, oh, would you? Can I, can I show you? Yeah, sure. It's just a mock-up. It takes a second of work, so. Okay. You know, uh, I've uh, I've been working with this this young man who's just recently started here in Trans World, but uh, he had like a troubled childhood. Yeah, he grew up in a like a like an orphanage. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, you know, his aunt Becky was like his only real family. Well, you should have brought him. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, the, the truth is that he couldn't come. Oh, why not? Well, because uh, he's from down below. <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know why you're telling me this. Uh, anyway, I thought that. Oh. Product some years. That's amazing. Yeah. It's perfectly straight. What is this stuff? It's top secret, actually. I like secrets. Are you okay? Yeah. No, I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Wait, you're sweating. Oh, really? God, uh -huh. look at that. Do you want to try uh, some of No, no, really. I, I, I'm good. I'm pretty good. Okay. You know what? Can you just, uh, excuse me for like, just one second? You know, I hate to say it, but I told you she wouldn't remember you. Pablo, please. You got amnesia after all that. You sure know how to pick them. You burned yourself pretty good there, too. This 
Let's mow then on the night when you go to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's everything's fine. Just uh, you know, cleaning up a few things. Here's the list of candidates for your clinical trials. Oh, oh, great. Oh, thank you. I'll come by at the end of the day for your selections. Psst. Hey, may I see? Models like that. <laughs> the goose is cooked, man. What are you trying to do? Get you fired or what? Showtime! Showtime, huh? What's that? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> you just started here. You'll be out of the line of fire. attention, please. Before we begin handing out the bonuses, we have a list of individuals whose services will no longer be required. Albert Midwall, Susan Gonzalez, John Phelps. Leave me, my friend. If your thing works out, you got nothing to worry about. Jimmy Scotch, Beatrice Amshastegui, Bob Borushevitz, Alexis Von Arb. That's a mistake. Aton Sumash. <laughs> um. Uh, excuse me. I I'm sorry. Uh, did you say Bob Barjevitz? Well, uh, <laughs> I think that's a mistake. Yeah? There is no mistake, Mr. Barushevitz. In light of your seniority, you will be given a retirement package, but your Transworld contract has been terminated. Dimitri Rassam, Oscar Lopez, Stephen Craig. Don't ever trust anyone here, Adam. Not a bunch of snakes. That's it? I mean, you just pack up your things and leave? 31 years. They toss you out like a bag of garbage. Yep. That's the trans world way. Ah. Oh. For your collection. Some things in here may come in handy. You ready? Yeah. Okay, and. I got it. I got it. Hey, Bob. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about me, my friend. It's still lost. Take care of yourself, right? Right. Come on, old girl. We're out of here. You're coming with me. And these jerks about to end up in a tin can. Come on, girl. Come on. Hey, Bob. Thank you. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm so, so sorry for, for disappearing on you like that. Uh, you know what? Uh, an alarm went off, and the security had everything blocked, so I was, I was stuck there for hours. Uh -huh. uh, no, no, really. I mean, I've been desperate to, to call you. I'm, 
I've been meaning to call you. All right, well, I'll let you make it up to me. Take me to lunch. Oh, what? Yeah, you can come up with a better story by then. Y you want to go to the cafeteria? No, I thought we could eat out. Eat out? Yeah, you don't want to? No, 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 I'd love to. Okay, great. Uh, how about Cafe Dos Mundos, you know? Yes, of, of course. Uh, wow, uh, the Cafe Dos Mundos. Is that a problem? Uh, no, no, no problem at all. Okay, great. I'll see you tomorrow at noon. Okay, great. All right, see you then. Bye. Bye. I gotta admit, I've always wondered what it would be like. Yeah, well, maybe now you'll know. All right, Deb Pablo, if I could get you one thing, one thing from up top, what would it be? One thing? Yeah. A girl? A girl? I don't know, bring me back one of the menus from the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, okay, I can do that. How about you, Albert? Yeah, I want you back. Okay, I'll try to make sure that happens. beautiful and sunny day in Trans City. Trans World wishes you a very lovely day. <laughs> hey, how are you? Good. I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh, don't worry about it. I just got here. Oh, you did? Oh, good. So, how come I've never seen you around Transworld before? Well, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty big company. I don't know. Maybe no, that's why. That's true. Do you live nearby? Me? No. No, God, no. Uh, 
I, I have a really long commute. <laughs> Sorry, like, you, you really, you really don't remember me? I mean, you know, if you, if you look at me, I mean, like, really, really look at me. You don't remember me at all? No. Come on, Eden. Eden, we know each other. What are you no, doing? No, no, like, but we really know each other, I mean. Why are you doing this to me? What? No, Eden. Eden, please, like, Wait, 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 come on, sorry, please, please don't. Look, it was just a misunderstanding. I, I just meant that we met before. You know, it was at the elevator, at work. You dropped your papers and I, I helped you pick them up. You don't remember that? No, I don't. <sighs> yeah, why, why would you, <laughs> I guess? Look, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of just a little nervous, that's all. You know, I, I didn't mean to come at you like that. I'm really sorry. Can you forgive me? Look. I should get back to work, I think. Come on, just stay for one drink. You can't stay for one drink. Come, we don't even have to eat. You know, I'm not even hungry. Unless, of course, you're hungry, in which case I'm, I'm, I'm starving. Yeah, I mean, I'll eat the whole menu tw twice if, if you just sit down and have lunch with me. I'm starving, actually. Yeah? Good. You want to sit down? That's, that's amazing, really. Yeah? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I, I'd love to help. Yeah. That's the, the Sage Mountains, right? Yeah. I, um, I grew up there. We still have our old house there. Yeah, no, God, we, we used to go there all the time. You know, we used to, uh, go and pick the, the pomegranates. Yeah, me too. You know? <laughs> They're the best. They're the best. Are you okay? Huh? Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm fine. No, really. Right. It's getting a little, uh, a little warm in here, don't you think? Let's get out of here. You want to go? Yeah. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll get the check. Yeah. Okay. So there's this great orchestra from down below. Uh, they play here Friday nights. They're incredible. You have to hear it. Wow, that, that sounds great. Okay, so I'll see you Friday, maybe? Yeah, sh sure. Okay. okay. Bye. 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 Thanks for lunch. All right. <laughs> Take care. Thanks.
Aiden, it's me. Our demonstrator will apply the full product line. We will be selling five separate creams of increasing strength according to the concentration of the active ingredient, five being the most potent. The goal is to tailor the lift to the condition of various facial regions. As you see, a range of strengths allows the consumer to apply what's needed where needed. For a general purpose product, I think the level two would provide visible all-round improvement without any adverse effect. Number five, being the strongest, can work miracles. And speaking of miracles, now we're also developing a product for the breasts and the buttocks. Oh, I think it's ready. Questions before we continue? Yes. Couldn't we market a cheaper version for down below with only one product? Oh, yes, yes. We, we could, could. at the very lightest <laughs> concentration. The product doesn't hold up well at very high doses. Uh, let's see what happens with excessive application. Uh, she had her product applied about 10 minutes ago, so. Uh... Question for the demonstrator. <clears throat> Mr. Borshowitz, right? Uh, I'm sorry, you must have me confused with somebody else. My name is Adam. Adam Kirk. Excuse me. I'm uh, looking for Edom Moore. Have you seen her? Yeah, she just left.
down below. I'm Adam. I knew you were up to something. Bob, can, can I come in? Of course, that's what I'm here for. Come on, come on. You see, man, <clears throat> we're like real estate agents. And you know, we buy, we sell, keep our options open. Women, well, they're more like contractors. You know, they build to last. You see the difference? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh, you will, you will, my friend. Right, right, well, I'm adding maximum weight to the exterior layer to counteract the heating problem. Now, my friend, try this for size. If it fits, you are through with overheating. This is nice. Oh, wow, this is nice. Oh. Boy, oh boy. Trans world and a curse the day they fired me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that. You got it? That's a pretty good fit. Good, good. Right, we're gonna get back to the outer layer. The icing on the cake. <laughs> I don't get it. It's impossible to change gravity status. Are you sure? Yeah. Absolutely. Look, so now all we have to do is carefully mix the two opposing solutions. Wait a second to stabilize gravity. Everything but the main ingredient. Uh oh. I would give good money just to see the look on Lagavulin's face right now. So, are you telling me we don't have the formula? We. Well, we tried to recreate it several times. But the thing is, uh, we're missing an ingredient a uh, pink powder. We found traces in his office. Without it, there is no cream. That's unacceptable! You can't figure it out without him. No. Llega tu recuerdo en torbesino Vuelve el otoño a atardecer Te miro en la garúa y mientras miro, mira en la cuchara de café, el último café que tus labios con frío pidieron esa vez con la voz de un suspiro. Recuerdo tu deseo. You remember? Starting to.
kind of go. No. I'll find you. Hey! There he is! You! Take this 
上来。the complete anti-aging green formula and if you attempt to contact Miss Moore, charges against her will be reinstated. Do I make myself clear, Mr. Kirk?
was naive to think that I could change the world. You know, up there, they always win. But down here, well, we always lose. So I guess I just go back to my life, to my world. And I'll try here down below to do my best. Paradise? Well, guys, I, I don't think so. You know? I mean, they, they might be rich, sure, but... It's definitely not paradise. Hey, let me look at that. Huh? What do you think? We should, uh... Think we should make this fly? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll give it a boost. All right, hold on to that. Yeah. I'm Eden. More. I need your help. You're the only one who can go upside down. <laughs> you won't get rid of me easy as that, old buddy. <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't believe it. How did you do it? Hey, hey, hey. Check this out. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> did you make a mess or what? I can't believe it. Oh, 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 oh,
You're not even wearing a vest. No, no. Where's the way? No, no, no. We're 90% water, right? So I combine upper and lower inversion with a hyper infusion, yeah? Yeah. Now, you know this better than I do, but, but the breakthrough, man, the, the, the breakthrough, ah, man, I jabber. Like, <laughs> the, the, the problem is, right, the effect on the last an hour, right? I, I'll improve it. Oh, and you, 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 my friend. Hey, you have a rendezvous. What's this? because I'm pregnant. He <laughs> said he'd understand how this makes me different. <laughs> I love you. yet the repercussions of what we had done. Our love would forever alter the course of history. But that's another story.
Thank you. 